Well, hello, this is you, Abigail, and I would like to welcome you to our fifth episode of Terraforma Punk. And uh, you can see I have on me here this uh, uh, boat here because uh, let me go ahead and open up our map real quick. And there we go. Uh, you can see, you know, we've explored you know, all the way up to here and, you know, all the way down to here, but we haven't really done anything out in this direction over here. And uh, as you know from the last episode, I believe it was. Uh, we tried doing that dungeon down there, and we ran out of jack-o'-lanterns. And, well, let's just say that uh, these torches, they just don't last very long. I can place them down and light it up temporarily, but if I have to leave and come back, chances are those torches are going to be burned out by then, and it might as well just not have placed them. So, yeah, jack-o'-lanterns. We need permanent light sources. So that's something we're going to be focusing on. Now, you can see I've got on me here a couple of ceramic vessels of food and some jugs of water, because I, I don't know how far... We're going to have to travel in that direction in order to encounter any kind of land. And I don't know what resources will be there when we get there, and we'll have to deal with that. Um, also, since the last episode, I don't know if I showed this in it or not. I didn't review the episode before starting to record. But I tore down that wooden structure that was over here, and I built this thing here. And yeah, I filled it up with uh, uh, wood. On, you know, And it goes down like another three or four blocks or so. It took quite quite a you know pretty much all summer of just going out lumberjacking bringing it back going out lumberjacking bringing it back to fill this thing up but we now have a whole bunch of charcoal to where we can actually start a forge and yeah we're not going to do that this episode but uh, that's going to be happening soon uh, what else what else what else oh also uh, back here I just go ahead and show you um, I actually did this uh, this morning before starting to record this episode uh, I went ahead and filled in over there where that uh, pirate ship was and then dug it out and built a structure around it and, and I now have a working mob farm and we can show that off a little bit more later. Also I led some sheep over that were spawning and breeding over in that direction on the water's edge where we actually hunted that first year and I now have these guys pretty well familiarized so yeah wool is not a problem anymore and we'll be able to breed these guys up and we'll be able to get uh, you know protein from them so yeah but again not an issue for right now so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and do this uh, a trip this journey on the ocean over there off camera because like I said I don't know how long it'll be and uh, I'll uh, update you with what I find alrighty we have arrived at an uh, an island apparently and uh, here it is apparently it's made out of marble which uh, the area where I was mining that malachite was was also marble so we may find some more over here but that's not what I'm looking for specifically but uh, yeah so we'll just go ahead and take a look around and see about this connected uh, or not so connected area over here and find out if it's a larger landmass, and if we can happen to r hopefully run into some pumpkins, some jack-o'-lanterns or something, because, uh, yeah, that's kind of the point of this entire trip. So, let's see what we run into over here. Uh, we got, looks like a pheasant. And, whoa, we got something going on over here. Doesn't look like jack-o'-lanterns, looks like a snowy type area or something. But, uh, yeah, we definitely got to watch out. I keep forgetting that there's huge, huge holes. And what have we got here? These thorns? Hedge. Yes, okay, no. Do not mess with the hedge. And what have we got inside there? Hard to tell. Well, I'm not going to mess with it at this point because we are not specifically equipped and armored for dealing with that kind of uh, place at this point. We're going to continue wandering around and see... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's very much to this. And snow with marble still. Hopefully no bears. That, that would be horrible. And... Whoa, we got some kind of a snow castle. Oh, okay, that's cool. We may have to investigate that at some point. So we're going to go ahead and uh, 
I guess head back out onto the ocean here and uh, continue our journey because, yeah, this was kind of a flop. So, uh, yeah, I'll check back with you uh, when I find something else. What is this? Some kind of structure over here. And I'll be willing to bet there's going to be some spawners in there somewhere. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and land over here. And yeah, getting out of the sh out of the boat for some reason always seems to do that, but uh, whatever. So uh, yeah, we're we're now down here, and uh, apparently everything's starting to freeze over. Which you know, this this uh, far north, that's going to happen. Again, I'm still not seeing any jack o' lanterns or any pumpkins anywhere. But uh, let's head over here and get ready to run from whatever spawns. I'm just kind of curious. I haven't been to this place before. I don't, I've never encountered one. So uh, what do we got? What do we got? Some steampunk stuff, which is to be expected. And apparently another one over there. But I'm not seeing a spawn. Oh, oh, oh. We got something. We got something. Where is he at? Where is he at? What is he? He's probably one of those minotaurs. There's our spawner right there. Oh, silverfish. Is this a silverfish spawner? Yep. Well, that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and break that. Don't have a pick with me, so this may be a little hard to do. And, of course, what do we get from that? Silverfish shell. I wonder what we can make with those. You know what? I'm not even going to mess with it. I'll just have to remember that this is here. Anyway, we're not going to uh, mess with this too much. Go ahead and explore to the end of this. Looks like we got us another one of those roguelike dungeons. So, yeah. That's a thing now. And again, with the... Uh, small island. I wonder if it continues on down this way. We're going to have to head back. Probably go ahead and grab that boat so this way we still have it. And uh, I'll let you know what I find. Excellent. This is exactly what I was looking for. And uh, this is at uh, this end. There's another roguelike dungeon over here. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and grab these jack-o'-lanterns. And these are diorite. Ooh, diorite. I think I actually need diorite. Alright, well anyway, I'm going to go ahead and gather these up and continue my uh, exp exploration. You know, this area wouldn't be a bad little place to build something at some point. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and mark this. Continuing on. Alrighty, well, I found some limonite and some bauxite exposed on a hill here. So, yeah, I'm going to mark that as well. Found another structure of some kind. Yeah, right next to another one of those dungeons, apparently. Uh... This may not be such a good place to be. And there's a chest. Wonder what spawns in there. Uh, whatever it is, it's buried. Maybe we should hang out here for a little bit and find out what spawns. Hopefully, it's not that skeleton. So far, nothing. All right, nothing major. Uh, we'll just keep note of this place, and we may return to it at a later date. So let me go ahead and mark that and continue on our way. 
found a submarine. Go ahead and add that. Have to investigate that later as well. Well, that was freaky. There was like these giant versions of me, like my doppelgangers, but like a hundred times my size chasing me. Yeah, no. Well, we made it back. Barely, but we did. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how I got damaged. I had I wound up having to reload because it was lagging real bad. Anytime you do a lot of exploring, you know, with my older computer anyways, uh, yeah, it causes a lot of lag. But, go ahead and pull this up. We explored all the way out to here, made our way down, and we found a bunch of land masses, and made our way back up to here. So, what all did we get on our little adventure there? Well, uh, we got some logs just because uh, these wintergreen bushes will come in handy and of course the 12 pumpkins and then various uh, you know, native silver, some cassiterite, uh, native copper, some bismuthonite, and uh, some tetrahedrite and we also wound up with uh, some native gold and uh, some of these blue orchids. I might do something with that as far as uh, if we can dye if we can make dyes with that. I may go ahead and do that. But anyway uh, I'm gonna go ahead and share these sheep because they are shearable and you know uh, plan on the, our next move which is probably going to be to go ahead and maybe build another structure over in that area somewhere since we've got these uh, 12 pumpkins uh, I'm actually considering just going ahead and replacing all these dead torches with uh, you know some of these pumpkins as jack-o'-lanterns in order to, to permanently claim some of this land so yeah we'll work on that in a few alrighty well I just got through filling in uh, this area over here pretty much everything that's not uh, covered in that uh, yeah I pretty much used up all my dirt had to go harvest some more from over there and I went ahead and finished leveling out most of the area over here I still have that section over there and I'm not sure if I'm gonna level that out completely or if I'm gonna like leave uh, an area up like this that I can use for something else and of course you know we'll build something there later but uh, for now we've got to deal with these noisy sheep because anytime I want to enter or leave the the house area over here which still needs a roof uh, I have to open this gate up and close the gate and sometimes these sheep stand right here hopping up and down and trying to get through. So uh, I'm wanting to make a separate area over here for them. And I'm thinking this would be a really good time to make a uh, like a barn type structure or something like that. And maybe move the loom you know, into a separate uh, building over here or something. So yeah, we'll go ahead and see what we can come up with. So. Uh, I'm thinking uh, I want to leave a little a little gap here so that I can either put a fence or you know like a stone wall or something around it. But uh, yeah, so I'm thinking the corner of the building should maybe go here. Yeah, we'll start it here. So we're going to go ahead and lay down some uh, cobblestone for that right now, and we're going to go ahead and use this marble since our uh, malachite mines are in marble we'll, we'll be getting quite a bit of marble so uh, we need to decide how big we want this to be now we're using this uh, cobblestone uh, for the bottom layer because uh, we would put it on top but then it falls sideways unless it's supported on like th two sides or three sides or something like that so uh, we're just gonna use it for the bottom layer right now and I did bring some carpenters blocks in case uh, I wanted to do a second layer or if I wanted to line the roof with them. So uh, anyway, this building does not need to be too large because the main area is going to be the pen for the sheep which is gonna, going to require a bunch of fence. So uh, yeah, what we'll do is actually, you know, we could do two separate buildings over here. One of them being like a shelter 
like a you know a barn shelter and then the separate one being the weaving and cloth room sort of so uh, yeah well maybe we'll do that so I'm thinking you know we want to leave a little area over here for uh, uh, the expansion of the orchard so how many spaces have we got here now so far one two three four five six seven that looks pretty good so uh, if we wanted an open face on the barn uh, we could just leave it at, at at seven on this and on that and then just put like a, a slanted roof on it and leave it as you know just a covered area that the sheep can actually access or better yet what are we doing in this direction one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we've got ten in this direction wonder what it would look like yeah no there's not enough room between the orchard area and here in order to uh, have it be longwise this way with this side being the open face so yeah we'll just do it this way so maybe we'll go one more that leaves us one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven yeah so eleven and then we'll do our wall one two three four five six and seven so uh, this will be our open barn area and then we'll just continue the fence from here out this way and then back this way as much as needed and our separate building will be uh, maybe start it here and well, this one will not be nearly as big as this one here because it's going to mainly focus on wool, uh, silk, burlap, stuff like that. So it doesn't need to be nearly as large. And if we make this the corner one two three four five six seven eight nine that's perfect and we do not want a door here we want our door probably facing into our orchard and maybe a separate door into our sheep pen area so we'll leave a space for the door and we're gonna need obviously a corner post and I'm thinking maybe one more one two three four five six seven eight now it would be square so yeah we'll leave it at seven yeah that looks good so and we do not want a door over here So we're on this line. And we got what? One, two, three, one, two, three. And maybe we will offset. As such. Alrighty. So now we've got the basic uh, foundation of our rooms. We'll dig out this dirt and replace it with something later and that leaves us with how much marble 32 and 7 plus this bit of marble rock here and then we've got some granite that we can use as well but uh, so we got 39 which will not be enough to do a full roof so what we will do instead is we'll go ahead and place down some of these carpenters blocks for our corners and maybe we'll go one higher at least for this building and we'll go ahead and throw these 
marble cobblestone on there. And that leaves us, what, 27? Seven and seven is fourteen, and then nine and then nine. So we will be short a few, but we do, like I said, we do have that, uh, those stones that we can turn around and make some more cobblestone with real quick and we do have enough stone to finish this frame out so we'll just need what five more so yeah we'll, we can go ahead and do that here in just a second need to go ahead and uh, replenish our food real quick and our water alrighty And back to it. So we needed uh, five. So we need twenty. All right. There we go. So, yeah, this is a good enough start for this for today. Uh, we'll have to do some more mining in order to finish building that. But for now, uh, I, oh, I'm also going to go ahead and uh, let you know that uh, the hunt for jack-o'-lanterns not necessarily is uh, needed anymore because I found that uh, we can make these uh, carpenter's torches and well we'll we'll compare them real quick we got this carpenter's torch here and we've got this regular torch here okay light level 14 from the torch light level 13 from this torch okay well that's something i didn't know but take a look there's no time on this this will not burn out according to this has 96 hours I mean, I can try to relight it, but it won't let me. It just forces me to place another torch down nearby. And same thing with the carpenter's torch. It won't, it won't do anything. So, I'm going to assume that this never burns out, which makes it function the same as a jack-o'-lantern. So, to make these, the recipe is uh, relatively... Oh, also, you gotta, you got to really hit them to, to knock them out. Um, the recipe for them includes... Uh, let me go ahead and show you real quick. One carpenter's block and one coal or charcoal of this variety. And you make eight carpenter's torches. Now, to make this coal requires the bituminous coal or two of the terra firma craft coal and makes one Minecraft coal. So, you get this from Sifting, Chert, and a few others. Chert is the only one that I've managed to find the actual stone type for. So, uh, we can actually go out there uh, in... Let, let me go ahead and show you where. We found Chert way over here. Where was it? Where was it? There it is right here there's our chert so we'll be able to take chert and sift that to get uh, to get the coal and it may spawn naturally there I'm not sure uh, as far as it goes so now we'll have to wind up making a trip down there and getting a load of uh, uh, granite or rather gravel and bringing it back but uh, I'm kinda wondering because I haven't dug any of it out yet 
and we might as well just go ahead and check this right now. So we'll make a shovel because we may not even need to do that. And I better go ahead and grab a ladder while I'm at it. just in case we need it to get back out because we got that charcoal pit over there and I'm wondering if that creates the type of charcoal that we can use for this. Now I know I got some ladders somewhere over here. There they are. So we'll grab those and we'll head over there to our uh, charcoal bin and find out by digging one of those out and see what it looks like. This would be really convenient if this does work. Okay, turns out I did not need it. Alright, well, here we go. Let's dig one out. And we've got the Terra Firmacraft charcoal, which is not usable for that. Let's dig out a second one and see if it can be combined into a regular charcoal. No, it cannot. Is it four? Okay, nope, will not work. Oh well. Had to try. Let's see if we can look up a specific recipe for it. Coke oven. You know what? We can actually make a Coke oven. Maybe. I'd have to remove these bricks and look for other bricks and then just put something else like smooth stone here. But uh, yeah, I'll make that decision later because I do believe that we've pretty well huh, pretty well used up uh, the time for this episode. I do want to thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, this is you Abigail saying, have a great day.